Good day everyone, I'm the Hat Hobbit and welcome back to Pine. I've been very excited to get back into this game and see what's really going on really. Last episode, uh, we we basically just started our adventure. Uh, we experienced a massive sort of tremor back home on our plateau of a cliff or something. But to be honest, I have no idea what to expect. We also found that we have an objective to do sort of over here-ish, so we might as well just head straight over there to begin with and see what we can find. Oh, hello. You are now in the exploration, exploration area. This re is reflected in your compass. The goal is nearby. Ah, right, so our compass is up here and the goal is somewhat. Ah, there we go. So when we get in there, it's like this. <laughs> Those are so cute. I love them. Whoa. This is really cool. What What is all this stuff? I guess we're going to find out pretty soon, but I mean... I suppose we better try and find off, because that's what we're meant to be doing right now, but... Wow! New area discovered, the Shore Cliffs. Interesting. Alright, so we're outside of the zone we're meant to find, and... Let's, let's see. So you can zoom in on the map by the looks of things. Um, so it's within this area here, so I'm going to guess it's maybe down here-ish. Because that's where the main sort of marker area is. So let's see if we can head down there and maybe find our friend. Oh wait, there he is. I was, I'm sight blind. Hello, Wolf. It's been a long time. Back so soon, are we? Hehe. <laughs> you look concerned. As far as I t can tell of you humans, something terrible happened. Oh my, another landslide? Haha. <laughs> we can't live on that cliff any longer. Yeah, we can't. I mean, it, it's a very bad idea. I need to find help. We need to move. Mm, a new place to live. That might not be that easy. This island is full of creatures much stronger and smarter than you and me. Or, well, smarter than you at least. You see all those tribes fighting over territory and food. It's quite the mess sometimes. In fact, I was just here observing some of the villages because I don't even know who could be occupying them at this moment. Could be the crockers, could be the litters, could be carrot. But what are all these things? <laughs> Here's my suggestion. Look for caches known as donation boxes. They're used by all species to share and gift resources to each other in perilous times. I think if you make an offer to a village and then find that village, they might let you in, or be even be able to help you. Okay, I will try. To be fair, I have very little business with all this. You, us Tambus, we are just observing, learning, studying, to the comfort of a little house. I'll mark it on your map, in the center of the island, in case we ever need you. Ah, that's awesome. So, looks like we made friends with that species. So, if any relationship with species are tracked in the pause menu, uh, donation boxes can be found along um, near villages. Yeah, that looks really cool. So, it looks like we can gift people stuff in order to make friends with them. Makes sense. So, what's this over here? I kind of don't want to fall off again, but what is this? Maybe we can shoot some stuff? No, that didn't seem to do anything. Oh well. Uh, I don't know, but I've just fallen down here again, but... Ooh, green glowy thing. I'm interested in the green glowy thing. Let, let's just explore a bit, shall we? So what's this place? What is this? Oh, interesting. So this looks like maybe like some sort of camp area, maybe? I honestly don't know. What's this village over here? Maybe we should go explore, and I don't know why I'm being so sneaky around here. But, who knows? Oh, is that one of the donation boxes? Maybe we should go check that out. Ah, so it does. A cl cliff site retreat donation box. Let's see. So, if we give them just some... Okay, so they don't like not meat things. Well, so let's, let's give them some of this. This might be good, and... Well, they're doing it a little bit better. Uh, is there anything else we can give them? I don't think so. Let's let's see what that does. Okay, so they're now neutral in a sense. So does that mean we can enter this village? I've got a bad feeling about this. This is looking very, very um unfriendly. Oh, hello. Um. This is somewhat scary. Hello, Mr. Crocodile. Um, I'll see you in a bit, I think, maybe. Hello! 
No one wants to talk to me, apparently. So what's this? What an intricate mechanism of wheels. It seems to display the relationship between the creatures. Looks like those are the reds are foes, green means allies, white is neutral? That makes sense. Right, so every time an affinity action is performed by species on the island, it changes the discs and stuff. That's good to know. So at the moment, it looks like these blue, maybe deer like people are not very friendly towards this bunch of people. Uh, it's the same with these sun and moon things. I don't know. And, and the other two look like they're quite friendly. So I wonder if we can find like a village elder or something, because that may be quite handy. We got some thing to interact with. Whoa, this is quite the tower. Yeah, it is actually. I can see them on the horizon. Seems to indicate wealth and population of the village. Do the flames on the top in, um, indicate their size, perhaps? So the totem of a village represents the species and the strength of the village. Right, okay. So it looks like the more sort of like fires on top of the pillars, the more powerful the village. So this is quite a weak village then. I best not say that around any crocodiles, because I imagine they'll get quite annoyed. This looks like maybe... Oh this, oh, this looks like the gang of the crocodiles, maybe? Well, I never. Are my eyes deceive me? A human in flesh and bone. I think that's a good voice. Forgive me for the express consternation, consternation, but it's been decades since anyone saw a human on this island. What do they call you, young one? My name is Hugh, and I come from the from her, the unstable cliffs. My tribe can no longer live there, so I've come to find refuge. I donated to your village, hoping to get help. <laughs> <laughs> I live to see this day. I admire your courage, you. But a place to live, that is not my interest, I'm afraid. I have plenty of mouths to feed, as does everyone on the island. However, your donation did not go unnoticed, and I thank you for that wholeheartedly. Not everyone will share the peaceful interest that I have for humans. I do look weary and unprepared for what seems to be a burdensome task. I shall have our village trader reveal to not retrieve an old shield from our stock. One that should fit your hands. Perhaps I'll explore a virgin in the meantime, as there should be plenty to learn from a creature like you. The shield should be ready when you are ready to leave. A shield? Hopefully I'll be able to handle it. <laughs> You've gotten this far. I shall also think about what you can do to reach your goal. It is high time for someone or it is high time someone or something stirs up the deli grind on Al Albamare. <laughs> Come see me when you've received your shield. I might need to change that voice. That voice is actually quite painful to do. <laughs> uh, so, oh, and it's another one of those orb things. Maybe I can get it from going up from there. I don't know. Let, let, let's see if I can find anything up here. Ah, there's another donation box. Cool. So, where did I see that thing? Was it down here? Uh, oh, it was. There it is. It's another orb thing. I'm not sure what we're meant to do with those, but I'm going to collect them anyway, because it looks like we're meant to. Oh, hello, are you the trader of a person? You must be the trader. Yes, it is the trader. Yuck, I've had a share of strange creatures pass into my shop, but none like you. Then again, experience tells me the stranger the looks, the deeper the pockets. When they say human would come by, they didn't pay me for something this fragile. What? Fragile? Yes, well, I don't think there are people that have met that could not break the arms of yours. Best thing I've got for you is some ideas that could fit your size. You'll find your way, I'm sure. I'll modify that shield they've sent if you fit it to your hand. I'll leave it here for you to pick up soon. Can trade out with me afterwards, but only if we're friends. Alright, so it looks like the village trader will barter items. Good to know. And, and you can only trade with them if you're friendly with the species. So you can't do it when they're neutral. Okay, so... Oh, that is a beautiful shield. Enough loitering, I should ask the chief for more pointers. So we can block attacks by pressing the right mouse button. Nice. So, different shields help have different exhaustion rates and regeneration speeds. Right, so it basic, we basically have a stamina for this. But do we just... Do we equip this? Uh, or do we just immediately equip this? Oh no, we do equip it. Okay, cool. Oh, this is looking really cool. Very nice. And then we can block with a shield as well. Right, cool. Uh, I've forgotten how to sheath stuff. But see his crouch. I didn't realize that. That's good to know. 
I'm glad you found the shield, young human. Still, you look a brutal ting flower I could snap in half before breakfast. I asked around a bit, and I realized there is someone more capable than us to help you with gearing up. Oh, who's that? The name is Grob, one of the Manoff. Nobody has seen them for ages, but apparently he's still alive. Word has it he resides in the pollen pass between the Shortcliffs and Sparse Fields. Finding him might not be easy, but he has enough experience with human gear to at least give it a shot. I, I I'll try to find him. Thank you. Surely you will. You've got this far. <laughs> Good luck, human. Ah, okay. So, it looks to me like there is possibly something that we've got to find. Uh, so let's check our map, shall we? So up here is where well, looks things where we're going to go. Uh, well, uh, we might as well just start heading that way then, shall we? Hmm, so this looks like a stone sort of thing. Maybe we need a pickaxe for this. It looks like there might be a place to hit with a pickaxe. I still can't get over the looks of this. What is that place, I wonder? I imagine that's another village, but... Oh, we're not, we're not going the right way. Um, but I just did a little bit of exploring myself just very quickly. Like, this is beautiful. Like, it looks like there's two villages side by side. One there, one there. This is awesome. I love the music too. The music's just fantastic. I, I, I honestly can't, like, imagine how long it took to, like, make this stuff. It's just fantastic. Ah, so this looks like the cave that we need to get into. So I suppose we better go straight in and see what we can find. All right, so it looks like more puzzling needs to be done. So what can I do with this? All right, so I can pick this up. And that swings that across to the there. Which maybe lets us go through here? Nope. No, it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Uh, let, let's just quickly put this back and see what we can do with it. What we can do with this. Ah, so maybe if I take this and just stick this down here for just for a second and we take this, what does that do? I'm not sure, but maybe if we put this in here. No, that doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. Alright, so that's lifted up again. Maybe we can put this in here. Ah, there we go. Hey, it did the trick. Right. Just a little bit of messing around. But. but what was through here? Whoa. What was that? Oh, the, the thing crashed down. Oh. Well, I mean. I'm glad it didn't hit us. Uh, um, uh, hi, you're a big one, aren't you? Hi, uh, I guess you're the person I'm looking for? Uh, um, hello? A human in my cavern. Oh, happy days. It's been ages. You must be Grub? Sure am. You have no idea how long I haven't had any company, and from a human nonetheless. You never leave this cavern? Nah, the outside world, it's not for me anymore. Everyone's occupied with their own problems. There's a total lack of community. Apart from you humans, I can only bear my sister's presence, but she has not been seen for a long time. There are more of you? Oh, there used to be plenty of us. But we retreated, as the islanders grew more hungry for power every day. Anyway, you came here for some business, I hope. I was told to come find you to find some protective gear, or some tools. Ouch, haven't done those in a long time. I gave my last human creation to someone just like you, but that was ages ago. He was a friend. I believe he used to hide in an abandoned watchtower nearby. Okay, so that's probably where we're going to head next. I created gear, tools, but also chests to hide belonging thing. In return, he brought me these shiny orbs. I love them. 
You should go to his hideout. Maybe you should find some human belongings there still. And before I forget, all of my chests came with a tiny key. You need key graphite to make them. I'll write it down for you. Okay, I'll try to find it. Thanks for stopping by, human. Please find me a visit sometimes. Alright, so it looks like we can... It's a finite material used to craft an album at key. Okay, so looks like we can find stuff to make keys, which might be pretty cool. Uh, maybe we can go through here. I'm not really sure. Uh, this looks like his bedroom. Is there anything interesting over here? Uh, no, not the looks of things. Alright, so we're back outside again. Uh, looks like we've got to find this watchtower, wherever that may be. So it looks like it's sort of behind us that way. Maybe it's on top of up here. Oh, I think that's it there. Oh, le let me see. Oh, here's some key graphite. I think it's a good idea we take as much as we can. And some iron as well, by the looks of things. Interesting. But yeah, this looks like it is where we need to go. So, let's see. What's this place going to hold? Ah, there's another one of these orbs. This is one of those shiny orbs. I should bring it to Grob. Oh, okay. So, looks like that's what we use them for. Maybe maybe they give it. They allow us to give get more stuff from Grob. I'm not really sure. Now, I wonder how we get up here. Because it looks quite difficult. Maybe we can shoot something and maybe that will take us up. Ah, there we go. There's a target there. So, if I hit this... That brings that over to here. I'm not sure what that really does for us though. Because... Oh, maybe we can jump up like this. Um, that just phased straight for us. I don't think that was quite what we were meant to do. Uh, let's try again though. Maybe we can jump onto it like this. There we go. Uh, not sure if that was the intended way that they wanted us to do it. But it's the way we did it anyway. Um, oh well, let's... Sort of just keep looking around. Ah, looks like there we go. So we got some more ideas and stuff. Interesting. So maybe we can get some more equipment. This note must be written by the human. Day 166. Today I with some leaders of the Vol villages. I've been charting the shortest streets that connect those ancient places for months now. Why ancient places? The vaults are very important for the bright future ahead. I've also found out that crafting a power brew gets you inside any village. Chiefs really love them. Vault? What are they? Sounds like there might be some answers there. Maybe they could provide a place to live? I should visit those. He this human marked them on this map. Oh, interesting. M maybe, yeah. I, I never thought about that. But also it looks like this power brew stuff can really help us. I'm going to see what's over here. So let's just switch to our beautiful slingshot again. And maybe, what? Well, I wonder what we can do. Hmm. Maybe there's a way to craft these keys. Um. I'm not really sure. Hold on, let me check my crafting. Ah, yeah, there we go. So if we create one of these, it takes eight key graphite. Um, graphite. Do it. But it looks like we can open this chest. Ah, so we got a new idea here as well. That's going to be handy. So, and we fell down again. Um, I wonder if there's a way we can get up there. Because it looks like we're meant to be able to get up there. I was like, oh, okay. So that looks like it's connected there. Which might be connected to this. Oh, that, that would be so much. That would be so useful if that's the case. Haha! -ha! It is as well. Awesome. Um... Can I come back down, please? Uh, it looks also like we're out of food, so we should probably eat a little bit just to restore our, um, sort of, uh, I don't know, stamina, I suppose? Alright, let's stay on this time and hopefully not fall off. Looks like that's the intended way to get up, so, uh, we, uh, we kind of did the sneaky way of getting up. This looks like an advanced slingshot of sorts. Seems like I'll need to craft something other than five poles to fire it, though. Ah, so maybe this is a... Oh, yeah, it's a bow. Oh, that's going to be fun. Let's just grab all these arrows and stuff. Well, it's nice that we got that bow now. Uh, apparently, it needs arrows to fire it, though. So that might not be amazing. But it looks like... Yeah, this goes in our um, 
ranged area. That's awesome. So what what does that take to craft? Because I'm probably going to want to craft a lot of those. So there's marwood and dull rocks. Okay, fair enough. I have a feeling we should probably craft up some stuff of these as well, like these new Wedgwood stuff, because at the moment we've just got some just standard stuff to sort of just allow us to, well, give us some basic protection. But this stuff looks like it's a little bit more efficient. Like if you look in the um, description, like it gives you two stars. I imagine that's because it's more efficient, I suppose. Anyway, I, I, I say let's head back down because, I mean, I don't see anything else up here. So maybe we should show, show Grob the Amphis, Amphiscus orb. Is that how you pronounce that? I have no idea. Grob, Grob, I found something. I found something you'd probably be really interested in. I found one of those orbs. Ooh, they shine bright as ever. What are they exactly? The pieces of ancient history, they say. Placed by a species long forgotten, even more forgotten than Manoff are. Now I am a mere collector. Oh, how exciting. Let's make a deal, tiny human. If you find me more of these, I will craft a larger pouch for you to carry even more of these. That's really good. Start right away. So, okay, so we need five to begin with in order to make more pouch. Because it'd be awesome to make more pouch stuff, as you can imagine. So... Who knows, maybe we can do that a little bit later. So I'm thinking it would be a good idea to maybe get a little bit more of those orbs. Um, I'm not sure where they'd be, but maybe, maybe we could find something really nice. I mean, who knows? I mean, I know it gives us a bigger pouch, which means we get a little bit more inventory space, but I wonder what, like, how much bigger. And, like, I I'm never going to be, I'm just never going to be unsurprised at the views of this game. That's just beautiful. Alright, well, that's going to be the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy this episode of Pine, please leave, leave a like on the video for more. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm probably going to play it again anyway, so... Like, just stick around to watch the rest of the series. And hey, if you're new around here, maybe consider subscribing. It's completely free to do, and you get to see more of me. So, who knows, might find some of my other stuff interesting. But apart from that, that's about going to be it today. So, I hope you did enjoy. And all I have left to say is see ya, take care, and bye-bye.